what's up bookish babes welcome or welcome back to the channel in today's video i will be continuing series i'm in a in the middle of and i decided to start reading magnolia park the long way home mainly because i want to dive into the next book because after watching sarah caroli after she read the arc of this book she just made it sound so good to the point where i wanted to read it and if you guys know where I stood with the first one, how I felt like they were just childish and I thought they was actually in like a prep school when they, was, they were actually grown adults, like fully grown adults. That first book, it I was just like, yeah, no, I don't want to read anything about Magnolia Parks and BJ anymore because it just, it was giving grow up. But I started reading this book um, a while ago, a couple days ago. I'm on chapter 38. And now I truly understand their relationship. They're trauma bonded to each other. And if you read the book, you know why I say that. And being trauma bonded to someone is a dangerous thing to me personally. I'm not going to go too much into it because I don't want to ruin the book for anybody. Because y'all know when I start mindlessly talking, I will spoil something. So that's why I just kind of, you know. But so far, I'm enjoying this book a lot more than I am than I did the first one. Um, although Daisy Hates is still my favorite. I guess you could like series or a book in this little world. Daisy Hates is still my favorite. Um... One thing that still haven't felt in this book is Magnolia get on my nerves. She is just too high and mighty up on a high horse for me. She's like one of those girls that, I don't know. She gets, That's why I told y'all. She gives me teenager vibes because it's, it's basically, if you're my friend, you can't like anyone that I don't like or talk to anyone. I don't, like, you can't have a mind of your own. You have to go with how I feel is do what I say. You have to jump when I call. You have to stop doing. If you don't do that, then I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to have a bad attitude with you. I'm not going to talk. She gives me bully. She gives me bully vibes. And I, that's, just, that's how I feel. She gives me bully vibes. But she does have some type of sweet side to her. But she gives me bully. But I'm going to go ahead and start back reading this so that I can finish this video. And start the next book for this video. I don't know if I'm going to read three. Y'all, I have so many books I'm in the middle of that is crazy. Like, I have a list on Notion of books that I'm in the middle of. I will show y'all, but my computer is at home. I will, yeah, just just take my word. Just take my word. But um, I'm going to start reading Magnolia Park. It is 11 o'clock by now. I think it's like 11 yeah it's 1101 I don't know if you said that but it's 1101 and I had to start reading this because it's it's at a good part that I want to know what's gonna happen I want to know what's gonna happen but I'm gonna read and I'll talk to y'all later
All right, guys. So I'm like fifty percent through um, Magnolia Park Long Way Home, and like I told you guys in a clip or so before this, I like this book better than I like um, the first one. But Mag, I, I see now. Is that a part where now I just really see that Magnolia is just so self-absorbed? Like, is she the thing she do? Just to get BJ's attention without any consideration to anyone around. Hello guys, editing Kiana here. Um, I just realized at this part that it seems like I was just solely blaming Magnolia for her and BJ actions. But that's not the case at all. I was just basically speaking on her because through the book you can tell that she just... I just, I couldn't be her friend. That's all. But BJ, she just need to throw him away. They all just need to throw him away because he, he he's no good. He just, he don't take no accountability. One, he don't take accountability for his actions. Two, he always gaslighting her when you think about it. It's just like, he'll do something. She'll say something about him doing it. And then he'll point out something else she did like we ain't talking about me we talking about you we talking about your actions we talking about what you did to me but i just wanted to go ahead and just add that in there really quick because i don't want y'all to think i was just solely bashing magnolia because and making it seem like bj was innocent because bj is far from innocent and let's just get on that her it's just it's just she just strictly strictly focused on what she want and when she wanted and she's just not aware of anything like anyone else but what she want and that is just so crazy to me like i could not be friends with this girl like i could not be friends with her i'm like she is one of them people i just could not be friends with because it seems like her friends have to dumb themselves down like or lower their like i, I can't even explain like they just have to be the type of people that dim their light just to be around her so that she can feel like she's just special like when she going through something you have to drop everything you doing and come to her or like i mean i understand as a friend if my friend is going through something of course i'm going to be there for her but it don't matter what it is like you you gotta be there or i'm not talking to you anymore we we're adults we have lives like can we live can i live but she i don't know i just don't like her i'm not even gonna hold you i don't like her i could not be her friends and i don't even see how they be her friends but i gotta go and i'm gonna talk to y'all later i don't know what kind of relationship bj magnolia has because i guess it's kind of like doing like a throwback or of all the things that happened why they was not in a relationship and i i just the pain of some watching girl child listen I, my feelings are so hurt for her because the things that she had to sit around and witness and watch you're the person that you're just so in love with that she like and i don't even know what to say i do not even know what to say because what do like what i'm i feel bad for them for both of them not just even just her like although i don't even like her like that i don't like her personality like that I still feel bad for what she had to endure with her heartbreak and everything when it comes to BJ. But I can't even say. I don't even know. I am like 70% through this book right now. Hopefully I can finish it tonight. Um, I don't know, y'all, because it's, it's giving... Like the toxicness of the whole situation, but the fact that they love each other and you can tell that they love each other, but it's just 
the toxic and like I said before it is such a trauma bond it is a trauma bond situation where they're basically bonded by trauma but that's what the trauma bond is y'all I mean duh but it's just I don't know I don't know if I could have stuck around that long to deal with that I don't know if that would have been me like I, I couldn't even I after the situation like um, y'all have to read the book because I don't want to. It's the second book in the series, and I don't want to ruin it for the people who haven't read it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out, and I'll probably see y'all tomorrow because nine times ten when I get off, I'm going home to spend time with my boyfriend, and then I'll see y'all tomorrow when I come back to work, most likely. <laughs> Okay, guys, so I just finished reading Magnolia Park's Long Way. Uh-oh, I'm about to smack myself with a book. I just finished reading Magnolia Park, The Long Way Home. And now I need the next book, but it's at home. And I want to know what, like, the, the first of all, the ending of these books be so wild to the point where even if you didn't like the book, you feel obligated to dive into the next book to find out what happened because the ending of that book I I don't know how we got there. <laughs> I don't know how we got there, but I wanna know what happened and how we got I think I know how we got there, but I'm not sure. But I do wanna know. But I gave the book a four star. Um although I do have a lot of things to say about this book that I don't want to say because, one, I don't know who's read it and who hasn't read it. But I do know that I, <laughs> toxic, it gives toxic, so much toxicity in these books to the point where it's crazy. But I did enjoy it. It was a good book for what it was. Um, I enjoyed watching. I need to dive into, I want to go straight into magnolia into the dark to see what happened but i do want to read daisy hates the great undoing first because in this book it close to the end of the book it was hinting at something that happened and and daisy hates that i want to know what happened with julian and daisy hates especially the text messages between the um at the end of the book but we're going to pick up our next read, which is going to be, oh, Wrecked by Lauren Asher. This is the next book we're going to be reading because um, I read Throttle and Collided, and I know a lot of people say Wrecked and Redeemed are they favorite, um, it's the favorite book, in, the best two books in that series. So I want to go ahead and dive into Wrecked. I think this is about the guy who is an alcoholic. Yeah, it is. So... And this is what we're about to read, and I'm about to call my sister back. She just called me, and I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, babe? So I am ninety percent through wrecked. Ninety four. I'm actually almost done with this book, y'all. 
this is a fairly easy book it's really good i've really been enjoying it it's about Jax and elena elena is this pr rep who was brought in by McC mccoy i think that's the name of it to help fix Jax's image um he's a f1 what is what you call it yeah a formula one driver um and he's basically been suffering with clubbing and doing a whole bunch of rich people stuff alcohol well not a lot of uh, anyways y'all know what i mean alcohol he's been abusing alcohol has been taking um xanax which is a drug to help with people with anxiety and yeah um i really understand like i i really feel like this is written so well and i really enjoy reading about his story because like i told y'all a couple videos ago since 2011 i've been well not 11 what 2021 i started suffering with anxiety but i don't take meds or anything i haven't even seen anyone about it i don't think mine is as bad as a lot of people so i don't even claim to have anxiety i just have anxious moments um but it resonates so well with me because she wrote that so beautifully. Um, him and Elena Bond and how she started off. First of all, this book started off so traumatic. <laughs> it started off so freaking traumatic that it was crazy. Like, I don't want to even say what happened because it's not even on the blurb of the back of the book. So, I don't want to ruin it for the people who haven't read this series. But... I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the crap out of this book. And I realized that I was almost... I'm putting his head up on because, y'all, my hair look crazy. And I need to redo it. But, um, what was I saying? I'm really enjoying this book so far. It's not giving me the five-star feels. I, don't, I think I'm broken. I think I am broken because I cannot find a five-star read to save my life. But... This not that that this video is not that video, so but um yeah I'm about to go ahead and finish this book because I realized I was almost through with it. That's what I was saying. I realized I was almost through with it and I haven't even came and checked in with you guys and told you guys my thoughts on this book and my opinions. Although I feel like Jax needs to find a better way to cope with himself when things go wrong in his life versus pushing people away and resort resorting resorting into alcohol and drugs and stuff like you it just and i can't even say he needs to talk to a therapist because he does have one like he's doing all the necessary steps to make sure that he's okay but he's just he's just still falling back on old bad habits and he has people around him that loves him and is supporting him and rooting for him to be do good and be good it, it just he just have the support system that anyone who's suffering with anxiety or any other mental health depression or any mental health issue needs he has all of that but he keep falling back on his bad habits y'all he just keep falling back on his bad habit and i'm really rooting for him to do better to be better because it's just when you have, I feel like it doesn't matter how well off you are in life. Mental health illness touches just about everybody. It don't, it, just because your bank account is big doesn't mean that mental health is not going to <sighs> touch you if, you, if, I, if I may say. But he, he just, I don't know. And it don't make you ungrateful that you're sad. I feel like people who feel like their life is just so good that being that they're sad or feeling down makes them ungrateful for what they have. But that's not the case. Like, it's just a chemical imbalance. Like, it's not your fault that you're feeling how you're feeling. Like, it doesn't make you ungrateful that you're depressed or that you have anxiety. Like, it just, it just means you have the funds to seek help. You feel me? Like, you, you have the funds to seek help. And, yeah. But, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to go ahead and finish reading this book. And then, I'm going to come back with my rating and in this video for you guys. Because I want to get it up today. But, that's all. That's all I got to say about Jax and Elena. Um, 
I love Elena. I don't even know if I mentioned her, but I love Elena. She's one of those people that hardworking, loyal, dedicated. Like she is one of the people that you would love to have in your corner no matter what because she's going to fight for your happiness and to make sure that everything you need is taken care of and that you feel safe with her and she just want to feel safe with you but like i said she is going through some traumatic stuff but i don't want to touch on what she's going through because like i said it's not on the blurb of the book but the prologue of the book it starts off from her pov and it tells you what happened to her and why she's the way she is so yeah um let's dive back into this and finish this up and i will talk to y'all a little bit later all right guys so i'm finally done reading right by lauren asher i got a book a 4.25 i really enjoyed it i gave you guys my whole spiel on the book in the last clip and it took me i think i told you it was 10.01 it is 10 51 now so i finally done reading it i gave it a 4.25 i don't know why i keep repeating the same thing y'all got a headache my car broke and i got a headache but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end today's video right here i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give this a thumb up make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video hopefully with the fixed car no i'll be in florida i'm going to florida this weekend y'all so, I might vlog while I'm down there. Who knows? Who knows? Because I might be drunk. I'm calling bullshit. Say you got it, but you ain't got nothing. Bad bitches don't say shit, they just hug.